Hello everyone, this is a old Honda Activa scooter, 110cc, 110cc. The, problem, the issue with this scooter is it's not starting. This could be a battery issue or something else. So I'm going to check the battery in this bike. So this is the old Activa, Honda Activa. It's still self start. It's a 110cc. Uh, second generation Honda Activa scooter you can see I'm trying to start the ignition is on but it's not starting there's a battery so it's not uh, not working so I'm going to dismount the battery and charge it so here you can see so there are two uh, two screws which has to be removed there's one here on the left these two, two screws have to be removed and there are two screws here there is one screw to be removed here in the front and one screw to be removed I'll just remove it and be right back so I've used the same screwdriver which is there in the kit toolkit of the Honda Activa and uh, now now the the front uh, uh, this one is removed so that I can unmount the battery so here you see there are uh, this is a mounting bow mounting uh, kit for the battery so this has to be removed and this is how the this one is removed so there are the two screws front screws here and there are two back screws at the bottom Due to COVID, this scooter was not driven that much, so this could be the reason for the battery not charged properly. So I'm going to charge this battery with a with a charger, external charger. Yeah, I have used this panel size number 10 to remove the the mounting bracket for the battery. So, and I have used this screwdriver. Uh, which is there all these tools are provided with the scooter uh, inside the toolkit so next I'm going to unmount these two screws the positive and negative uh, supply which is going to the battery so now the battery is in uh, removed from the scooter so uh, I'll be charging it so with the external uh, battery charger which I'll be showing you next so this is the Amaron battery which comes with the scooter hello now I have charged my battery with the external uh, battery charger, 12 volt battery charger and uh, I have charged it for over uh, 4 hours and uh, you can see here in the ammeter it's uh, gone from uh, initially while I kept it for charging it was around uh, the charging current was around 3 ampere hour and now it has dropped to it's now doing trickle charging uh, it's dropped to around less than 1 amp and uh, see this is the battery charger which I have used I have connected the negative of the battery charger to the cathode of the battery and uh, similarly the positive to the anode of the battery this is a Ameron 4H uh, uh, battery that has it maintenance free battery maintenance free battery so if you if you periodically charge your batteries one with a with a good battery charger the battery life uh, in your vehicle will increase so next uh, so this is the battery is completely charged I made it for four hours charging uh, so now I'll put it back in the vehicle and it should it should solve my uh, st starting problems uh, hopefully thank you
make sure you have connected back the battery terminals back to the battery and the battery is seated in the battery bay and uh, make sure the screws are tightened uh, properly and there is so there is a perfect uh, connection and uh, then we will check now after the charging whether the vehicle starts without any issues Turn off the ignition and again turn it on to check. The horn is good. The indicator is good, loud enough. Even the, the left and right indicators are working perfectly fine. The horn is working good. So I'm going to going to start the engine. Now I'm going to put back the, the other mounting brackets of the battery bank. Make sure you connected this battery cover properly and then you have to put the clamp. Make sure you have uh, tightened this clamp uh, tightly. Uh, so uh, if you don't do this properly then the battery might uh, jump on the humps and uh, potholes. Make sure it's tightened completely and there is no shake. The clamp, the clamp, clamp should be securely secured like this. So that now I'm going to put the front flaring of the vehicle, which I have it here. Make sure the flare is flaring is front flaring of the scooter Honda Activa is properly mounted and there is no shake there are two screws you have to put it back which you have removed earlier this is this is this side one screw this side one screw and the, there are two screws here here and here tighten it properly and test it once more turn on the ignition the vehicle is starting prop properly and the vehicle is in a good shape now and this is a this is a simple procedure to 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 charge your batteries regularly during service or you can do this is a DIY procedure to improve increase the life of your batteries in the scooter thank you